The guardhouse is a good landmark for us because it was close to the southwest corner of the fort proper. There were a number of buildings outside of the fort proper as well, but this is a good place to get our bearings. The greater fort extended about 800 feet to the west to the stockade and about 1,200 feet to the north, which is where the hospital was, a little bit to the, to the east of due north. 1,200 feet to the northeast was the post sawmill. About 800 feet to the east, along the banks of the Fort Creek, you'd find a bakery, hotel, and theater. And about 900 feet to the southeast is where the long stables were. All told, there were about 40 structures making up the fort and its support buildings. The footprint of the entire fort from east to west spanned about 1,300 feet, and from north to south about 2,200 feet. This encompasses an area of about 64 acres. Only about half of the space was designated for specific structures or operational spaces like the parade grounds. The guardhouse here is where the six Modoc men held during the trial for the murder of General Camby and other members of the Peace Commission during the Modoc War. Captain Jack, Shanchin John, Black Jim, Boston Charlie, One-Eyed Jim, and Slow Luck. They were captured and brought back to the fort in late June for the military trial, which began July 1st, 1873, and was held in the adjutant's office. The trial ended on the 11th of July with the finding of guilty for all six Modoc. By the 22nd of August, President Grant had approved the findings and the sentences. Major Curtis, the judge advocate of the Modoc Military Commission, petitioned for leniency for One-Eyed Jim and Slow Luck because they were young and not part of the original planning of the Peace Commission murders. One-Eyed Jim and Slow Luck, were, their sentences were commuted and they were eventually sent to Fort Alcatraz. The remaining four, Captain Jack, Shanshin John, Black Jim and Boston Charlie were hung on October 3rd, 1873.